operating your machine. Install the grinding wheel using the grinding wheel mounting flange inside the wheel and the appropriate spacer if required. Be sure to select the proper length bolt and line up the dowel pin to the hole in the motor armature. Dress the wheel. Drop the dressing arm down from its rest and adjust the star wheel so they just make contact with the grinding wheel. Move the star wheels back and forth across the wheel, advancing the collar on the dresser to dress deeply or shallow. Mount the flywheel by first placing the correct flange adapter onto the table. The adapter must make full contact with the crankshaft mounting surface of the flywheel. Now place the flywheel onto the flange adapter and use the correct size centering cone and bolt to secure the flywheel in place. Make sure when grinding the flywheel that the stone is traveling the area to be ground. Start the coolant and adjust the flow and direction. Lower the grinding wheel to make contact with the surface. When you see a foaming action occurring on the back side of the grinding surface, you are about to touch. These machines are designed for pressure feed. You must put significant down pressure on the flywheel to cut aggressively and keep the stone clean. When the surface has cleaned up, stop feeding and let the flywheel turn a few times to spark out. Then ease the grinding wheel off the surface. A cupped flywheel is mounted in the same manner as the flat flywheel. Measure the depth of the cut and record it. Grind the friction surface first until it cleans up. Measure the depth of the cup again. The difference is to be ground off of the outside pressure plate surface. The result should be the same measurement you recorded originally. A stepped flywheel is mounted and ground in the same manner as a cupped flywheel. The difference is that the outside pressure plate surface is lower than the inside friction surface. These flywheels must also be measured first. The friction surface is ground, then measured, then the pressure plate mounting surface is ground to repeat the original measurement. On these models, the clutch disc extends too close to the outer edge of the cup for the stone to finish correctly. By positioning the radius cutter on the edge of the cup, you are able to machine the 90 degree angle to clear the clutch disc. The automatic grind feature is available on the FG5000 and FG10000. To operate, bring the grinding stone down to touch the flywheel surface. Next, determine how much you are intending to remove from the flywheel and set on the graduated wheel. Next, set the amount of grinding pressure on the graduated dial on the control panel. All that is left is to turn on the auto feed and the machine will feed by itself, grinding the flywheel at the pressure you set and it will stop at zero. The machine will stop feeding by itself. It will not shut off until you walk over to the machine and lift the grinding stone off the grinding surface and shut the machine off. 